You too. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for pulling up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope y'all doing good. Today we are going to continue the Detroit Become Human walkthrough. Okay. Last we left off with Kara, Alice, and Luther. I, I'm trying to remember the names. They're gonna get uh, smuggled into Canada. That was the plan. We uh, were able to hide the other Andrews that were in that house when the police came. So we did that very well. And then what else we did? And Marcus and the deviants he created or made or recruited. I don't know what the right word is to because it's like he's creating them. But he's just basically breaking down their firewall to make them become deviants. So I just continue here. We made a message at uh, Capitol Park. And we let the two officers live. Will that play a role in the future? Hopefully, the whole the idea is to the idea is to let um, the public side with us and not give them any choice. Uh, we didn't do anything with Hank though. Hank and Connor, we did not do anything. So this will be our first time. Let's get it. The title of this chapter is "Meeting Kamsky. and I think Kamsky is. I think he's one of the. I think he is the creator of the uh, these AIs. So, let's see. Maybe we'll get some answers at him about how deviants are created, etc. Because that's what we're trying to find out in terms of Hank and Connor's Is everything cases. okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. It's smart. Nice house, right? <laughs> this house it looks like a fortress. Like a like a modern fortress. Oh, it's our friend beginning the game. Hi, uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. Okay. Take off our shoes. I feel like we should take off our shoes. Here, but please make yourself comfortable. This girl's barefoot. Okay. Three things. No. Definitely not sitting down. Hmm. Elijah. Elijah. Nice girl. Mm. You're right. Oh, that's uh, Amanda. AI professor. Is she AI? And then AI graduate. Oh, never mind. That's what they She's studied. really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Um. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Yeah. Yeah, we know, brother. I just was just following my man. There he is. Okay. Found my man over here. 
What was her name? We just, oh! Oh, there's two shorties in here. It looks Mr. just Kamsky. like her. Just a moment, please. Hmm. Are these all the same? They're, they're all like, it's a triplet kind of thing? guys oh my god stunning I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Hmm. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Hmm. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. No. Pure formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. 
That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I can't see that. I'm sorry. I gotta move the camera over here. I do not want to shoot this girl. Uh, what is that? X, right? No. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. I'm turning back. Sorry. Is it self a deviant? I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Hank's my guy, though. I think Hank, Hank and Connor are really like friends. Or Hank sees Connor as a friend. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. How's the emergency exit, then? Oh, my God. That was stressful. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Sounds like a human. Do the right thing. Definitely did the right thing. That's good. I definitely want to replay that, but this time I'll like get the girl. Look at this. There's so much more up there. Oh, sorry. What's this? Android Riot. Is that us? Russia and China face off. Cyber Life, okay. Bunch of books here. Oh, gosh. Wait. Okay, that's the view. Oh man. That is terrifying. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom.
No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? It was good. Life was good. You had a father that loved you. Tell the truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. I knew it. I knew it. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. North is your lover now, brother. Or she loves you, I should say. I don't know if you feel the same way. Who knows? <laughs> oh! He made it. This is... This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Convert all the androids. There are androids here who could join us. Do you get to see who the androids are? No. The more we are, the stronger our message. <laughs> You're free. There's another one. Come with us. That's the point. Cyber life is recording all that. I mean, they could be spying on us. 
That right there. I missed that one. Was he even there when I was there? I don't even know. But come on, brother. I want to get them all. You're free. Excuse me. I'm trying to think of worst case scenario here is... You know, we create a bunch of... Uh, like, we convert... I keep saying create. We convert a bunch, and then... And what? What are we gonna do You're here? You're awake now. What if the police, like the other night, do the same thing? Just nervous. Finally, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna let. You're free now. I'm gonna let Marcus be a martyr if it comes to that. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I need to block the street. You're free. Us. You're free. <laughs> you don't have to obey them. You're free. But why? <sighs> I just want to know why Marcus is the guy. You understand? Why, why is Marcus the chosen one? Where's the man? There it is. Yeah, it says open manhole. I thought it said that. Oh, it's right here. That's why. Convert more androids. Got it. Oh, you just look at them, huh? You're free now. Damn, that's the power I have now. I can just look at. I look at these motherfuckers. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's like I'm Jesus, bro. Hold on, but if Marcus passes, then I can't get we can't get any more people into Jericho. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I actually don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'm trying to think of worst case scenario. You know, clearly they're trigger uh, trigger happy over here in, in this world. Get those over there. Ricky, I'm to send you to the the hell are you doing here? Hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! That's an order! Jesus fucking Christ. 
Christ! This bet is controlled 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. We are marching down the street. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. So oh, that's the, the cop. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. I don't know, 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 I don't know. Yo, I don't know what to do. Sorry, I had to pause it. Stand ground. Stand on business. Stand on the business. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Hey, you look evil. You look evil. There you go. You look evil. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. I didn't think that was going to happen. John? They come with us. Well, you know what, man? You look good in the public eye, so I don't care. We look good in the public eye. These guys look like absolute dicks. So, whatever, dude. John gave his life to save Marcus. Let's go. Thank you, John. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you. Go talk to Amanda. Where's Amanda? Where's she at now? Can we just walk it? Yo, 
You better not fall through this damn ice, brother. You better not. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Stand on business, brother. I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. Oh, don't say that. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. Hmm. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking <clears throat> about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. So me and Hank are boys, though. Talk to Hank. Listen, let's stop it right here, okay? Because I think this is going to be, if not the closing to the game. I think it's going to come to a close soon. Um, you know, with Mar with Marcus and I guess we haven't played, with, we haven't used uh, Kara in this uh, episode, but it's definitely coming to that end where, uh, you know, the climax of this uh, this game and therefore the ending. So. Stay tuned for that next episode. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. I think we made a lot of good choices because we are winning the hearts of the people. Okay. So I'm happy about these decisions. Sad about John, though, but I'm happy we took it from cyber life. And it's like he sacrificed himself for a greater cause. I love that. Like, you know, for I don't love that, but, you know, it was nice. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Uh, very touching to see. All right. I'm out. GG's. Thanks so much. Cheeks out.